Okay, Rocco, this one is for you. Welcome, um, Dr. Robinson. And I'm going to dedicate this show to Rocco D. Topic is area of a circle. So we're continuing our study skills series. So if you need help with your homework, there's Dial the Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursday, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give them a call. They're very nice people. Don't forget you can watch our YouTube study videos. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Subscribe to our channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers, and we're getting there slowly but surely. So give us a subscription uh, to our channel, and uh, we'll really appreciate it when we get to 1,000. Look for our latest video. We have a nice PKMS Math Prep. 20 commercial available, so take a look at it. And I'm talking about Math Prep 21, so look for an announcement soon. You can tweet me at DRobMath1. Watch our show Math Time on Tuesdays from 4.30 to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision, only in peak skill. All right, Rocco, here we go. So area is the two-dimensional space inside of a figure. The area formula is A for area equals pi r squared. So that's pi times r times squared. So let's get into it. The most important thing you should know is these two lines here. So you should know the difference between these two lines. You have a long line, which is called the diameter, cuts a circle in half. And you have a short line, which is called the radius. So they're going to give you one or the other. So your job is to know which one you're dealing with, because that's going to help you find the area. So if you're given the long line, the diameter, that one diameter is equal to two radiuses or radiuses or radii. So two radii is equal to one diameter. So that's good to know. So the radius is the short line. So you need two of these parts to give you one long line. For the radius, you can say it's just half of the diameter. So it's just cutting the diameter in half, and that would give you the short line, which would be the radius. So the radius is half the diameter. If you realize and remember those differences, you will go a long way with the area of a circle. So let's get into some examples. So let's try to find the area of this circle here we have. We have seven centimeters and we have a line here. Now, our thing is to identify the line if it is short or is it a long line. So what do you think, Rocco? I'm looking at it. It's not cutting the circle in half, and it's just going from the center to the edge. It seems kind of small to me, so I would say short. And it is a short line. So a short line is called the radius. So we're dealing with the radius. So the seven centimeters is a radius. So now that you know that, Rocco, you can now have the radius equal seven centimeters. You can substitute that radius into your formula. What formula? The area formula of a circle. Area equals pi r squared. So I'm going to substitute in place of the r, the number seven. So notice I put parenthesis around that. So that way you can isolate the r. And now I'm going to replace the R with 7. So I put my 7 in there. And now this would be a good chance to use the calculator. But you may know your exponent, 7 to the second power is 49 times pi. So you would have what's called pi form, 49 pi. So what that means is this is a notation that's sometimes used in secondary math. When you get growing up in math, the uh, the people in math say you're grown up enough that you don't have to use your calculator to multiply anymore by pi button or 3.14. So they say just leave it just like that a, as a coefficient times the letter pi. So we can leave it like that, 49 times pi. But sometimes they want you to get your calculator out. So if you get your calculator out, you would press the pi button and multiply that by 49, and you would get 
153.93804 centimeters squared. So that's what you would get on your calculator. Now that's a lot of numbers. So usually they ask you to round it off to the nearest something, hundredth or tenth or something. So you'd have to round it off. So I recommend you look at my video on rounding off if you're not sure how to round off. So I'm going to round this off, say, to the nearest hundredth. Remember, if it's the hundredth, that's the three place. I'm going next door to it. If that is five or more, I would shove this three up by one, make it a four, and let all that other stuff go. If it's four below, I'd leave it alone and uh, leave it as a three. So I'm going to shove it up by one, and it'll become 153.94. So that's the calculator rounded to the nearest hundredth. So we have our answers in pi form. A area equals 49 pi, and we know the rounded off to the nearest hundredth is 153.94. And we figured out the radius was seven. So Rocco, I hope you understood this so far and that you get it now. If you're not sure, rewatch the video and see if you can understand it again. If not, write down your questions and bring them in and I'll be glad to explain them. But let's try one more, Rocco. Find the area of the circle below rounded to the nearest hundredth. So we're gonna round this off to the nearest hundredth. And this looks like an internet button. So I see there's a little line over here. And I remember saying if it's a short line, it's gotta be the radius. So the radius is equal to 14. It goes from the center to the edge of the circle. So they have it out here. So it's not really as pronounced as the one in the question we just did. So I need my area formula, pi r squared. Now that I have that, all I got to do is substitute in place of the r, the radius, which is 14. So Rocco substitute the 14 in there, and you can put parentheses around that. Sometimes calculators no pi notation, which means you don't have to put the 14 uh, in parentheses. You can just type pi 14 and squared, and you'll get your answer. 615.7521601. And we can round it off to the nearest hundredth. Remember, hundredth is the two places after the decimal. And we go next door to see if that's five or more. And no, it is not. So we'll let all this stuff go and leave that at 615.5.75 centimeters squared. So there it is, rounded off to the nearest hundredth. So I hope you got that right, Rocco. And here's the question again, but it says find the area of the circle below in pi notation. Well, we already remember pi notation means you don't have to multiply by the, uh, the calculator with the pi. So you can just leave it, leave pi right there. So we got our radius, which is 14. We remember our formula, pi r squared. We're going to replace the r, which is the radius, with 14. And all we're going to do is just square the 14. We don't have to multiply it by pi. So 14 times 14 is 196. And we leave the pi right next to it, which will give us 196 pi or 196 pi uh, square centimeters. So nice job, Rocco, if you got that. So I hope you're understanding it now. If not, rewatch the video. So what else do we have? Oh, Dr. Rob, you have a question that now has a long line in the picture. Yeah, we haven't dealt with long lines. So how do we deal with it when we have a long line? All right, so we find the area of the circle in pi notation and round it to the nearest 10. So when you have a long line, remember the long line is the diameter. So since you have a diameter, and you know it's 26, you don't want the diameter, you want the radius. And remember the radius is half the size of the diameter. So I gotta take half the size of this diameter, which is 26. So what's half of 26? And what do you say, Rocco? 13, yes. So the radius is 13. Okay. Now that you got the radius, oh Rocco, I know you know what to do with that. So you just put it in, your formula and get uh, area equal 169 pi. 
Now, remember, it said round it off to the nearest tenth, your answer. So you multiply 169 times pi and round it off to the nearest tenth. That's one number after the decimal place, and you'll get 530.9. So Rocco, we did one with a diameter, just to make sure you know how to do it in case you get a diameter, because sometimes you do. So now you should be ready for it. Here's a New York State exam challenge question for you. So take a look at it. Here's my challenge question for you. And it talks about the circumference. Oh my goodness. So maybe you better watch my other video to deal with that because they're asking what is the area in terms of pi? So Rocco, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you get it now. If not, write your questions down, bring them in. I'll be glad to talk to you about it. If you need help with your homework, there's Dollar Teacher Homework Helpline at 212-777-3380, Monday to Thursdays, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give those people a call. Watch our tutorial videos on YouTube. My channel name is Dan Robinson. Help us to get to 1,000 subscribers. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. Take a look at our Math Prep 19 movie. It's a good movie, and I think you'll enjoy it. So uh, look for Math Prep. 20 commercial coming out, which is out, and I'll even be having a commercial about Math Prep 21. So tweet me at DRobMath1. Watch Math Time Tuesdays in peak skill only from 4.30 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Optimum Cable Vision Channel 15. So if you want to study with me or would like a copy of some some of these problems that we just did, write me at robinsonmath at AOL.com, and I'll be glad to give you something. Look for Math Prep 20. So I hope you enjoyed Study Skills with Dr. Rob. This show was dedicated to my good student, Rocco. The topic was area of a circle.